Yes, Let us be upstanding and come to the front. Somebody lift up your voice this evening. Begin to build yourself up. Today we have a divine appointment, a divine encounter with the Lord. Begin to build yourself up. Come to the front. The pool is stirred. You don't need anyone to encourage you. You don't need to look to your left or your right. Begin to look upon Jesus and build yourself up. Somebody lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Somebody pray. Rapa, 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 rapa
Zimante de Beha, Repenta de Becapa, Yapanto Lava Zimante, Yapenta Dava Zimata de Daba, In the name, in the name of Jesus. Welcome to Fire Night. On behalf of the bishop and prophetess, we welcome you. Today, when you come here, a revelation you must carry is that I don't care if there's 50 million people. I don't care who's to my left. I don't care who's to my right. Tonight is a divine appointment. Tonight it is written in heaven. Today, whatever you have, whatever God has for you, whatever heaven has for you, has already been, has a, was already written in heaven. And so today, we are focusing on Jesus. No matter how tired we are, by mere reason of, of faith, you had faith enough to come here and receive. And so today, we're not playing with ourselves. We're telling our minds and our bodies to connect. We're telling the atmosphere to be conducive for us. And so today, shake your neighbor and say, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 118, verse 1 to 8, NIV, and I read, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Let KFT say, his love endures forever. Let the house of KFT say, his love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his love endures forever. When hard pressed, I cried to the Lord. He brought me into a spacious place. The Lord is with me. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? The Lord is with me. He is my helper. I look in triumph on my enemies. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in humans. It is better to look upon Jesus. No matter what you came here, whatever baggage you came here, we are already victorious because we serve a mighty, 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 mighty God. Yes, Lord. Today, when I was watching the videos of our brother Sam and sister Raquel, I love wedding season. But then the Lord gave me a revelation that whenever there is a wedding season, that means that God has now began to establish a new covenant. And so tonight is a special kind of night because tonight there is a covenant that God wants us to go into. And whenever God does that, that means that God wants to do something, that God has a promise for us, that God wants to manifest himself. And so tonight we are telling the Lord, the house of KFT, if there is no other house that has humans to praise him, today he has found us. If there is no man to declare the goodness of the Lord, tonight he has found thousands of them. If he has no man to say thank you, he will not raise up the rocks because we have a mouth today. And today the rocks do not understand how merciful he is. The rocks do not understand how righteous he is. The rocks do not understand when we say that God is El Roy, when we say he is Jehovah Jireh. Why? Because he has never delivered a rock from depression he has never delivered a rock from madness he has never delivered a rock when their back was against the wall but he did it for us and so tonight we're lifting up our voice and we're praising the name of the Lord we're saying thank you Lord we are calling him by his many names today begin to lift up your voice and thank him 
Thomas, he man to the big compire. He pen to the best, and to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the big compire. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to the best, he man to the devil. He pen to
in the bullet, there was no one in the car. I say that all to say that not, not only has God done a lot for me, but my, by mere reason of him preserving my family, by mere reason of me not mourning the death of anyone in my family, I could literally tear my clothes and just worship God all day. Gunpoint, gunpoint, and she had nothing on her. And the guy kept yelling and saying, give me what you have. And she said, take it, take it. Gunpoint, it was three of them. She didn't get raped. He didn't steal anything because honestly, she didn't have anything in her purse. But the fact that the guy cocked the gun back and said, give me what you have, and it didn't end terribly for my family. I'm telling you, even when you look, even when I was looking at Sam and Raquel again, being, me being with them every fire night, I've seen them contend. This is the faithfulness of God. The faithfulness of God. Yes, Lord. I have no money to give God, and even that is nothing, is, is rubbish to God. But one thing that he holds to a high regard right under his word is our thanksgiving. And so today we're going again. You don't know the battles. Because I was in Kenya and I didn't know that God had won a battle for my family. My grandparents were not in the car. And bullets were flying everywhere. And so I wanted us to go into a time of thanksgiving one more time. And we're thanking God for the bullets that didn't hit us. Yes, the Lord. bullets that didn't hit our family members. Yes, Even when they were in sin, because they just came back from a club. Had they not gone to go clubbing and they would have been home, that wouldn't have happened. But yet, the mercies of God. But God, but the mercies of God. Had it not been for the mercies of God on our sides. We would have been consumed a long time ago. Even your family. Even your unsaved member. And so we're praising God one more time. You're thanking him even for your fingernails. Your toenails. The fact that you can walk. The yes, fact Lord. that you can skip. Yes, Begin Lord. to praise him one more time. <laughs> We do not take you for granted, O Lord. Lord, the fact that we made it to church unscratched is by your mercies alone. Somebody praise the name of the living God, for he is Yahweh. There is no other God. He is the living God. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. Yes, thank him. Yes, today alone, you could have been dead. This morning alone, so many people kissed their family goodbye and did not make it back. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. He is faithful. Faithful. Lord, we say thank you, O Lord, for your goodness towards us, your goodness towards our family. Lord, you are being faithful. We thank you for your mercy towards this house. Lord, thank you for the season of celebration. Thank you that we are not mourning. Thank you that we are not grieving. Thank you that we are not six feet under. Thank you for restored health. Restored hope. Thank you for deliverance. Abba Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
the name of Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter six, verse three, the amplified version. It says, we put no obstruction in anyone's path so that the ministry will not be discredited. I'm gonna read another translation, but the definition of obstruction is the action of obstructing or the state of being, a thing that impedes or prevents passage or progress, an obstacle or blockage. Jesus. Can I please have the NLT version? We live in, a, in such a way that no one will stumble because of us and no one will find fault with our ministry. Can I get the TPT version? We will not place obstacles in anyone's way that hinder them from coming to salvation so that our ministry will not be discredited. And so this is a physical representation of ministry. But we all carry a ministry to gather people to Christ. The Bible said that if we are not gathering, we are scattering. And so the Bible said we will not place obstacles in anyone's way that hinder them from coming to salvation. And so some of us, we come here to fire night and we lift up our hands and worship. And we think because we didn't fornicate or we didn't gossip or we didn't do this, we didn't do that, that our prayers tonight are not discredited. But the problem is, is that how many things do we do in a day that causes someone to look at us and say, who is Jesus? The Bible said that we put, we did not place obstacles. What obstacles have we been placing before people to keep them from coming to church, from keep them to coming to salvation, because it's bigger than the church, it's about salvation. What have we been saying? That bitterness that we harbor keeps people away from salvation. And therefore, in heaven, you are discredited. And so tonight we're praying and we're asking that the mercies of God be released in KFT. Yes, Lord. That the blood of Jesus will speak tonight. Yes, Lord. That the mercies of God will locate us tonight. Yes, Lord. That any obstacle, any sin we have committed that have prevented people from coming to salvation, that have prevented people from staying in KFT, that have prevented people from, from even hearing when you come to evangelize because of our nonsense behavior and character and heart posture. Jesus. Even you coming here with no revelation, you saying you're just gonna come to just come, is your prayers have been discredited because God looked upon your heart. And so tonight, we're just crying out for mercy. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Tonight, tonight I, ask I ask that you show, that you show me, mercy. me mercy. Say, Lord, Lord any, obstacle, any obstacle, any sin, any sin that is in the way, that is in the way of us, of us receiving, receiving, receiving your word, your word receiving, receiving, receiving a breakthrough, a breakthrough today, today. Lord, Lord, show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Show me mercy. Begin to pray. Let the blood wash it. Let the blood wash it. 
The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, NIV, it says, These are the things God has revealed to us by His Spirit. The Spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Tonight, if we come here, yes, God has a blessing in store. But one of the biggest signs that you have been blessed is when you can say, Whoa, I'm, I'm, not, I'm transformed. When you can literally leave here and recollect everything that the man of God has said, and it has impacted you so much that you know you will not go back and you have made up your mind to do better with Christ. One of the biggest signs that you have been blessed by a service is not just the falling out. People fall out all the time and bear no fruit. It's the transformation of God. And so we cannot be transformed without the Holy Spirit. We cannot be transformed if God himself does not give us deep revelation. And the Bible said that these are the things God has revealed to us by his spirit. The spirit searches all things, even the deep things of God. Even for the man of God to stand here, the, the, the spirit in him must search the deep things of God to deliver the timely word, the Kairos word. And so today we're praying for the Holy Spirit. Before we, we do our fire prayers and all that, we're asking for a deeper connection with God. Today the Holy Spirit must arrest us all. Yes, Lord. Today the Holy Spirit must take our arrest to another level. Today we cannot come here and leave the same. Jesus. 
You cannot come here with a, with a stubborn issue in your, in your mind and still leave the same. Even for you to lift up prayer points, you need the revelation. It's one thing for the man of God, for apostle or prophetess to come here and give you the word. But if it does not take root by revelation or because you are not hungry for the word, you will not see God do anything. It's not because he's powerless, but because you carry no revelation. And so today we're praying, Holy Spirit, have your way. Yes, Lord. Arrest us like never before. Jesus. Today, every deep thing that God has for us, yes, it Lord. must be made, it must be revealed to us. Yes, it Lord. must be made known to us. Yes, Lord. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Today, today release, release your spirit. Your spirit. Like never before. Like never before. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Say Holy Ghost. Holy yes. Ghost. Arrest. Arrest me. me. Arrest. Arrest my mind. My mind. Arrest. Arrest us. Us. Right now. Right now. In the name. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Begin to pray. Holy Ghost. The Bible says in Matthew 3, verse 12, his winnowing, in the New King James Version, his winnowing fan is in his hand, and he will thoroughly clean out his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. The Bible also says in Hebrews 12, 29, for our God is a consuming God. 
Tonight we're releasing the fire of God and we're consuming every chaff in the atmosphere. Yes, Lord. Every chaff, anything that will come to distract and disturb the service, Jesus. anything that will come to stop the move of God, anything that will hinder you from and pull you out of the spirit and cause you to be in the flesh. You need to pray. You know, apostle says all the time that some of you sit here and you'll get random texts to just take you out the spirit. I kid you not, I experienced this at, on Bible studies. These things serve as a chaff to make you lose hope, to discourage you. To even, the, even the spirit of disbelief is a chaff. If you came here all this way, I don't care if you live across the street, you still came here to receive from God. How can you come here and doubt everything that the man of God were to preach? God forbid. Today we're releasing the fire of God, that any enemy, anyone that has gathered against tonight's service, we're burning it with the fire of God. Yes, Say, Lord. my father, my father. My father, my father. You are, you are the consuming fire. The consuming fire. So tonight, so tonight by, your word, by your word, we release, we release the, fire the fire of the Holy Ghost. Of the Holy Ghost. To to consume every chaff, every chaff, every chaff, every chaff. Say fire, fire of God, of God. Consume, consume every, every resistance, resistance right now, right now. In the name, in the name of Jesus, of Jesus. Begin to pray. Release the fire of God. Let the fire of God begin to swoop this place. Let every enemy of our soul be consumed. Every enemy of tonight's service be consumed. Somebody pray. Let every spirit of slumber be consumed by fire. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Let the consumer fire be released tonight. Everything seated on the atmosphere, we consume you. 
Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Let every chaff. Let every chaff. Be consumed. Be consumed. Say, every resistance. Every resistance. Break. 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 Every hindrance. Every hindrance. Break. 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 We're now praying. And we're praying from Psalm 78, verse 23. It says, yet he gave a command to the skies above and opened the doors of heaven. We're praying that the heavens will be open tonight. Yes, that Lord. every blessing, whatever it is, any deliverance, any breakthrough, even some, some of us need hope. We need a restoration of hope. Some of us, we, don't, we just came because, God, if you, don't, if you don't give me hope, you don't give me joy, I'm going to die. Today, you need a restoration. Yes, and Lord. so we're commanding the heavens to be open. Yes. That there will be a free flow of God's spirit. Yes, We're Lord. decreeing and declaring that tonight is a, un, is a supernatural encounter. Yes. It's a supernatural service. Yes, from, from opening prayer to the end, to the moment you even share the grace, you are being blessed. The angels are ascending and descending. Yes, Lord. You don't know at what point the angels will locate you. So tap all the way in. Tonight that even as the man of God speaks, the word, it must, it must bring me life. It must bring me a word. Yes. Sometimes you don't have anything, but we have the word of God. That anything that the man of, the man of God says, E, and I'm taking it, that's my marriage. The man of God says, O, and I'm saying, that's my deliverance. You have to be so foolish and hungry. Thirsty, pull on it. And so we're saying, my father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. My father, my father. Those backing up, let me hear the congregation. My father, my father. Let heaven hear you, my father, my father. Let the heavens be open. Say, oh Lord, I release right now your blessings. Say, angels of the Lord. Be released. Say blessings of heaven. Be released. Say dew of heaven. Be released. Say breakthrough. I call you down. I call you forth. Right now. Right now. Say, oh Lord, have your way. Right now. Begin to pray. La parata la basata la baka pala basi bra. Shata la bala 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 bala. Rabata la bala bala bala. Rabata la bala 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 bala. Rabata la bala 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 bala. Rabata la bala 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 bala. Rabata la bala 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 bala. Rabata la bala 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 bala. Let the word be released. Let the healing be released. Let the breakthrough be released. Let the next level, the next level, the next level, the next level be released. Let the spirit of faith. The gift of faith be released. Let the blessings of the law be released. Up on the heaven. Let the anointing of the Lord that breaks every 
of Jesus, oh, the congregation only. My father, my father. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not gonna ginger you again. My father, my father. Tonight, remember me. Say, oh Lord, consider me. Say, heavens, be our pain. Say, tonight, angels of the Lord, Low KKFT, say, oh Lord, don't pass us by. Say the blessings of God. Be released. The oil of heaven. Be released right now. Lift up your voice. Don't stop praying. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh. Our sister said she didn't want to ginger us anymore. I want to know did we really come to fire night? And what are you expecting of the Lord tonight? Because when you're in high expectation of God's move, you got to be in high a high praise has to follow through because the Bible says he inhabits the praises of his people, right? That means he comes and he lives where the praises are. So today, before we go forth, I want about 15 of you to let out a Shabbat praise before the Lord. I want you, according to your expectation, let it be so. According to your praise, let it be so. According to your praise, let it be so. According to your pull in the kingdom of God, let it be so. Oh, he ain't tired. He ain't tired. You already tired? You already tired? God ain't done blessing us. We are not done coming through. There's another dimension waiting for you. Oh. Give him another shout. Yeah. 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 Yes, Lord. You know, the Bible lets us know that this is, I'm telling you, you got to understand in your praise, you are, it's a weapon. Praise is a weapon. Praise is a weapon. And that's why, because, because it's a, it, it, it acts like a weapon even as a defense mechanism. Because he says, if I'm here, there's nothing that can harm you. Amen. In fact, I'll fight your battles for you. Amen. I will do what you didn't expect to do. Because you said, I'm worthy of all the praise. Even when the Bible talks about boasting, it don't take boasting yourself. He says, I boast in the... You better take another 30 seconds just on that. Give him the praise. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Is that all you got? For the King of Kings, the way maker, the heaven low sheriff, the burden bearer, the way out, the way through, the way up, the way in, the only one, the only wise God, Emmanuel El Shaddai, Elohim.
Elohim, El Elyon, El Dama, El Rafa, 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 Rohi. Come on and give him a shout. How many of you came with that? I don't. I, how many of you walked in here where it says, I don't care what type, what things you do, enemy, I'm coming in here with a praise. Amen. You got to make sure you're in a praise mode when you get in here. Because I'm telling you, your praise will set the stage. Amen. Tap your neighbor, say, my praise is setting the stage. So before we leave today, oh, I don't hear y'all, before you leave today, I'm a praise God for me and I'm a praise him for you. So we got to pick up our energy and make sure God come in the room like never before. Hallelujah. I got my mind made up because I want to see my Jesus. I got my And I won't Cause I Help me sing, help me sing help. I got my mind made up And I won't Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday I got my mind made up And I won't
You say, oh, 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 just been right there. He's never forgotten you. He's never forgotten you. He is my healer. You heal me. You heal me. Now for the next 30 seconds, I just want you to say something sweet unto the Lord. Begin to open up your mouth. Begin to stretch your heart. Let him feel the strength of your heart today and begin to open up your mouth in the voice of worship and let it be so that you give God everything that you need to give him today. He is a worthy God. He is a mighty God. He's a God that made a way just for you today. He's a God that made a way when you didn't even see one. He's a God that makes a way where there's none. And no matter what, he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will never leave, leave you nor forsake you. When the enemy came in like a flood, he lifted up a standard for you. He lifts up a standard for his children. God, we praise you. 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 You take the stage. The worship belongs to you. The worship belongs to you. You take the stage. 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 It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. The honor belongs to you. The glory belongs to you. The praise is due unto you. No one like you. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same, you alone are worthy of the praise. You alone are worthy of it. We've come to give you the glory. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy, oh God. You are worthy, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. You are covenant keeping God. You are covenant keeping God. We call you.
that you want to say. You want to say that is there's someone sweet, no the mood will not hurt. Jehovah is my anchor. You are the covenant king. You are. We call you Yahweh.
Yes, Lord. Take the next 20 seconds and say something nice to the king this evening. Indeed, you remain the same, O God, for there's none like you, O God. In sense of days, as old as you are, you remain the same, O God. Yes, Lord. We bless your holy name, O God. Indeed, you remain the same, our Father. Father, tonight we gaze at your beauty. We gaze at your splendor. For the word of God said that your, the train of your robe filled the temple. Your awestruck beauty, your majestic power, your essence. Father, we glorify your name this evening. We say thank you, O oh Lord, for what you've done today, O oh God. We thank you for keeping us, O oh God. We thank you for preserving us, O oh God. We thank you for being our Abba, Father. We thank you for being the King of glory. Father, we worship you. For we serve no other God but you. Receive our worship this evening. Receive our praise this evening. May we feel the weight of your glory tonight, oh God. Shake this place like never before, oh God. Let your Shekinah glory rest in this atmosphere, oh God. That our lives will forever be transformed, oh God. We say thank you once again, Lord. We say thank you once again, Lord. This we ask you in Jesus' name we pray. And someone shout a big... Somebody shout a big, somebody shout a big, listen we are in the season of celebration, somebody make a noise unto the Lord this evening, shout unto the Lord this evening, shout unto the Lord this evening, yes Lord, very quickly, listen we must remain in the attitude of celebration, amen, amen, let's quickly go to Numbers 23 verse 21, let me get the Amplified Version, and I want us to read it out loud together. Amen. And at the end of it, we're going to scream this scripture to come to life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are we ready? Are we ready? Here we go. It says, God has not observed wickedness in Jacob, for he is what? Nor has he seen trouble in Israel. The Lord their God is with who? And the shout of their king is among who? And the shout of the king is among who? That means that the shout is among right here. You begin to shout unto the Lord this evening. That means the shout of the Lord is right there. That means the shout of the King is right there. That means the shout of the King is right there. KFT, make some noise. Give a shout unto the King. Oh, KFT, give a shout unto the King this evening. For he has kept you alive. He has preserved you. And he has been there for you. Amen. Amen. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord this evening? Oh, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Aha, uh -huh, amen. Praise the Lord. If this is your first time, this is Kingdom Full Tabernacle International Ministries, amen? Aha, uh -huh, somebody caught it over here. This is Kingdom Full Tabernacle International Ministries, amen? And we want to welcome you on behalf of our Papa, Apostle Dominic Jose. I want us to celebrate grace. I want us to celebrate the grace of our Papa's life, amen? I want us to celebrate grace of our Papa's life, amen? Amen. And we also want to welcome you on behalf of our Fire for Fire Mama, amen? I want us to celebrate the grace of our Mama's life, amen? Okay, after we can do a lot better than that, amen? Let us celebrate our generals. Let us celebrate our Papa and our Mama. Let us celebrate graces, amen? And I want us to give it up for our virtual family watching online, amen? Virtual family, God bless you. We ask that you continue to share tonight's service, amen? Because I believe what the Lord is getting ready to do tonight is going to be life transformative, amen? Amen. Are you happy to be here? If you are, turn to somebody and say, God bless you. Turn to another person and say, I love you with the love of the Lord. Turn to another person and say, tonight I'm praying from victory. Turn to another person and say, tonight I am praying from victory. 
Or if you're happy to be in the house of the Lord, make a noise for once again for the Lord. Amen. Now, by this raise of hand, has the Lord been good to you? If I had a third hand, I'll put it up. Has the Lord been good to you? Amen. We've learned about the importance of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is not just what you say, but it's what you do. Amen. So tonight, if the Lord has been good to you, your family, your community, and everybody that is in your life, to this very point, we want to give an offering unto the Lord. Amen. And we want to say, God, thank you for keeping me. God, thank you for preserving me. God, thank you for all that you're doing and that you're going to do. Amen. So without further ado, let us welcome up the praise and worship team to take us into a time of offering. KFT, make some noise. Amen. Offering time. Blessing, Blessing time. time. Amen. 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 Follow the lead of the ushers. Amen. Jesus, you are so
the Lord. Quickly stretch forth your hand towards the offering and begin to say a prayer. Speak life over your offering this evening. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Father, we thank you for tonight, O God, that we have brought our offerings to you, O God. We ask, O God, that you will sanctify each offering in the blood of Jesus. We ask, O God, that you will receive our offerings tonight, O God. We say thank you for the ability to bring meat into your storehouse, O oh God. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you receive it. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Someone shout a big. Someone shout a big. Amen. Before the word comes tonight, we want to continue to just set the atmosphere for what the Lord is getting ready to do tonight. Amen. Yes, 
So tonight we want to begin to lift up our voice and pray. Let's quickly go to Psalms 144 verse 6. We're praying for open heavens. But before we declare open heavens, we want to bind and destroy any resistance in the air. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 144 verse 6, the Amplified Version. It says, flash forth, lighten, and scatter them. Flashing lightning and scatter my enemies. Send out your arrows and confuse and embrace and frustrate them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Someone say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Any forces of darkness that have been sent to resist our prayers tonight. I stand in the authority of Jesus Christ. And I bind and I arrest that spirit sent to resist us. Resist us. In, the in the name of Jesus, of Jesus. say I break. I break, I break, I break. Every, yoke every yoke of bondage, of bondage. That, will that will cause me, me. Not, to pray. Not, to pray. not to pray, not to pray, and not to receive, not to receive. Your, word. your word tonight. tonight. Let, it Let, it Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break by the anointing, by the anointing. Of, Jesus of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray. Begin to lift up your voice and pray and destroy uh, every spirit of resistance uh, that the enemy has set forth uh, to close our heavens tonight. Uh, somebody lift up your voice and pray. Clap your hands uh, and pray. 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 Oh Lord, let your light flash and scatter our enemies tonight, oh God. Anyone that has come, oh God, to destroy what you're trying to do tonight, to close up our heavens, we release the thunder of God right now against them. Lift up your voice and pray. Clap and lift up your voice and pray. And scatter every plans of the enemy. Anyone that has been causing your heavens to be closed up, tonight we release thunder. Tonight, we release thunder. Tonight, we release thunder. Lift up your voice and pray. Yes, Lord. We stand in the authority of Christ Jesus. And we decree and declare, oh Lord, that no weapon fashioned or formed against us shall prosper, shall prosper, shall prosper. Anyone that's been sent to close our heavens tonight. Uh, let the fire of God uh, look at you now. Uh, let the fire of God uh, look at you now. Uh, lift up your voice and pray. Yes, Lord. Every resistance in the air, uh, we shut you down now. Uh, we sanction your power. Uh, every marine spirit, uh, every demonic agent, uh, every spirit of darkness uh, that's been released to close our heavens tonight, uh, to call our heavens to be brass heavens. We release the fire of God. Lift up your voice and pray. Scatter them tonight, oh God. Scatter them tonight, oh God. We sanction them. We sanction them in the authority of Christ Jesus. We sanction them tonight. Anyone that has sat upon our heavens, that has closed our heavens, we come against it now. We come against it now. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Slip, keep praying. Keep praying. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 144, verse 5. The Amplified Version. Tonight, we want to pray for open heavens because what the Lord wants to release unto us tonight, our heavens must be open. In the name of Jesus. It says, bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Bow your heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they will smoke. Someone say, my father, my father. My father, my father. I pray now. I pray now. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, speak I speak to the third heavens. And I command it, and I command to, it be to be open. To 
to be open. Let your glory fill this room. Oh Lord, let the heavens be open. So I command the angels of the Lord to be on guard. To be on guard. I speak to the heavens. Say, Father. E father, e father, be open, be open, be open. Lift up your voice and pray. Re pala la basa da da ba kapala basa ba. Re basa da da ba kapala basa ba. We speak to the heavens right now. We speak to the heavens right now. We command the heavens to be open. 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 Re basa da da ba kapala basa ta. Yabra. Ya da ba ka pala ba zo ta la ba ha. Ya da da ka pala la ra ba so ko ta. Ka na ra ra ba so ko ta. E ka na ra ra la ba sa ta. E ka na ba so ka ta. E ka na ra ra ba so ka ta. Come on, pray. Ya da da na ra ba so ko ta. E ka pala ba so ko le be ka pa. E ka na ba so ko na ba na ba. E ka na ba so ko na ba ba ba. E ka pala ba so ko ta. E ka ba na ba so ta. Every resistance break. Let every resistance Say tonight. Tonight. Let every resistance let break. Every resistance break. Say tonight. Tonight. Let every resistance break. Let every resistance break. Say tonight. Tonight. Let every resistance break. Let every resistance break. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Please fix my mic. Give a clap offering unto the Lord. Amen. I want you to celebrate God that we're not in a season of mourning as a church, but we are in a season of celebration by the grace and mercies of God. 
that God has not put us to shame. Celebrate Jesus. is fire night. Amen? And anytime it's fire night, that means it's Mount Zion. And the Bible says in Obadiah 117, it says that upon Mount Zion, there shall be, there shall be, there shall be, there shall be, Tonight, the Lord has promised that there shall be what? Amen. Amen. I want us to celebrate the man of God. Amen. Apostle Dominic Ose. Yes, great man of God. As you see, he's, he will be coming in a short while. But as you know, our church has been in celebration season. And we thank God for that. And in this season, there were two weddings. And one of the weddings we will officiate tomorrow and one of the weddings is tonight. And so our brother Nana Yao is getting married as we speak right now. And so we had to split ourselves. See, I want you to always keep us in prayer. Because we make it look good. But this thing is interesting. Because today we've had a few celebrations but on the contrary, we've had a few fires that we've had to put out. And so imagine the emotion. If I go and post a picture about celebration, then someone would say that I'm insensitive to what they're going through. So it causes us to always have to be in limbo. When you are in leadership, it is very hard at times. And you won't understand until you are physically in that position. But we thank God for grace. And my only ask is that you continue to pray for us and with us. Today, not only did we have to make sure all of the kids got up, went to school, did what we had to do, but we still had to wage a good warfare for others. We were in the trenches today doing what we had to do. And we still show up. And so it's never an excuse for any of you. Because when you understand the assignment, you don't take it casually. And you don't take it lightly. If you only knew the kind of day we had today, you would celebrate God with us. And you'll understand what I'm saying when I am sermonizing. But you got to understand, sometimes I guess pastors, they don't say enough. And so it's very easy for you all to judge a leader. Today we've had to deal with suicide attempts. Somebody's mother is having bypass surgery as we speak. We've had to deal with financial crisis. We are still worrying about the 130 acres. Had a bunch of meetings concerning that. Had to make sure I make it to my kids to get their Sundays or their ice cream Sundays. I'm explaining this to you because we have a generational gap that is going on. Where we come to church now, 
with the mindset that we must be fed and we also must be provided the food, we must be provided the resource, we must be provided everything. But what do you give? What is your contribution? Offense? Do you get mad when we don't answer the calls? When we don't respond to the text messages? I've learned to triage. Those who are nurses understand what I'm saying. I've learned to triage text messages. Because every single day, at the most random times, someone wants to kill themselves. Someone all of a sudden had a heart attack. Someone all of a sudden broke a leg. Someone is vomiting. Someone's marriage is crashing. Yet and still we show up, face full of makeup, ready to preach and teach to you. It's important that you understand because our generation is losing the value of the shepherd. And one thing I told the Lord, I will not allow these people to kill me or my husband or have my kids hate ministry because of you all. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So celebrate the man of God. Our apostle Dominic was saying. And celebrate yourself for always showing up for Jesus. In your times of despair, you show up. In your season of happiness, you show up. In your season of trials and tribulations, you still show up and do what you have to do. I think that is worth celebrating. That even in the midst of the crisis, even in the midst of the storm, while others gave up, you have made a decision to say that I am rocking with Jesus. Come what may, even when the enemy seeks to sit me like wind, I remember the prayer of Jesus and I show up on the sea. You gotta learn to sometimes give yourself just a little bit of credit. Don't boast in yourself. But you got to understand that you made it out of offense. You made it out of sickness. You made it out of financial hardship. You made it out of mockery. You've made it out of so much things. So when it's time to celebrate you, when it's time to celebrate you, everyone must celebrate you. Because you could have given up. Just think about how many times you genuinely wanted to give up on life. And think about the other people who did give up on life, but they too heard the voice of God, but they decided not to heed to it. So if you have heeded to the voice of God, I want you to scream and shout and celebrate God with me. Grace through it all, through it all. We thank God. We thank God for KFT as well, too. Please be seated in heavenly places. I won't be before you too long. I promise. I promise. I promise. I want us to really pray today. So today is one of those days that I did, I would say that I didn't necessarily prepare, but the word is in my spirit enough to preach it to you. And when I say that, that means that this was a complete unction from the Holy Spirit. And today, I've, I've actually had to call upon the grace of God more than I usually will. And upon doing so, the Lord said that, 
girl, all I'm doing is giving you a message. I'm giving you a message. That when you call upon my grace in times of trouble, in times of need, I provide you with strength. I provide you with grace. I provide you with a, a way of escape. And so I began to ponder upon a message. And anytime I ponder upon that message, that means what God is about to do is he's about to shift and break protocol. Every time I deliver this particular message, that means God is already a season. And let me tell you, the Bible says that the prophet was for a sign and a wonder. And so every time God gives me this word, every time it's stuck in my belly, that means God is about to shake the atmosphere. He's about to break rank. He's about to break protocol. He's about to show you why he's called Jehovah Nisi. single time as a preacher you know the seasons of your message when God gives it to you you know what time it is and the Bible says that the prophet carries the burden of the people need I remind you of a prophet who had to lay on his side for the sin of Israel and so when the burden arises like this, you must know that God wants to do something new. He wants to shake something. And you know I'm all for a good rebuke. All for a good rebuke. Professional rebuker. But when God gives me these type of prophetic messages, it's I'm telling you, Fiona, I'm telling you. Numbers 27. Numbers 27, verse 1. Then came the daughters of Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Makur, the son of Manasseh, from the families of Manasseh, the son of Joseph. And these were the names of his daughters, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milcah, and Terzah. And they stood before Moses, before Eleazar the priest, and before the leaders and all the congregation, by the doorway of the tabernacle of meeting, saying, Our father died in the wilderness, but he was not in the company of those who gathered together against the Lord, in company with Korah, but he died in his own sin, and he had no sons. Why should the name of our father be removed from among his family because he had no son? Give us a possession among our father's brothers. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, The daughters of Zelophehad speak what is right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. And you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, If a man dies and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass to his daughter. If he has no daughter, then you shall give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. And if his father has no brothers, then you shall give his inheritance to the relative closest to him in his family, and he shall possess it. And it shall be to the children of Israel a statute of judgment, just as the Lord commanded Moses. Now the Lord said to Moses, Go up into this Mount Abarim, and see the land which I have given to the children of Israel. And when you have seen it, 
you also shall be gathered to your people as Aaron, your brother, was gathered. Amen. Amen. So this story is very simple. There was a man called Zahelophath, which meant the firstborn, the first rupture. That, is what, that was the, the meaning of his name. Now, he had been on the voyage that Moses had set out when he delivered the people who were in Egypt. And on the way, we know that they died. Some of them died due to the nature of their sin because they disobeyed Christ. And then you have some that died from their own sins. And so the Bible here is saying that his daughters were confirming that their father did not die due to the other circumstances of men, but he died for his own sin, which was very important to note because when you did something wrong and you were cursed and died, then you essentially have cursed your generation. This is why we pray against generational curses so much. And then also, when you go into Numbers 26, you will see the genealogy of a whole bunch of people. The reason why the book is called Numbers is because it had to take a census of all the people of Israel in that time. Now take note that Zahelophad had died already. And so when Moses was told to go and get a census of the people of God, his name was not there because he was dead. May your name not be erased out of history. May the Lord make your name a landmark. I always find it suspicious. When people die and their name ends right there, that is a curse. That is a curse. I think that your name should be called to remembrance when you are not in the presence or when you are not here, when you are daily departed. May the Lord allow you to live a long, prosperous life. That even after 120 years of age, your name will be called and be called for a good thing. You see, back then, when the census was taken, it was taken of the headship, which were men. And so if there were no men represented in your household, then you were as good as dead as a woman. So this census was taken. And the census was taken because God said that I want you to begin to divide the lot and the land for the people of Israel. See, God is a God who makes you take possession, especially when your name is mentioned in the right places. He will give you ownership of things. And so the Bible says that a good name is better than riches. So if your name was not mentioned, then you are not getting the riches and or the territory of the Lord. And some of you, you can think back to your grandparents or your great grandparents. What does their name say now? Some of you, you hear of your grandparents and you hear negative stories. And you hear comical stories. And you hear stories of how they were has-beens. May you never be a has-been. You know those rappers that have one song and after that we don't know nothing about them. May that not be your life. Your life is not meant to be a has-been. My marriage was never called to be a has-been marriage. It must remain relevant all the days of my life. Your children must remain relevant. Your business has to remain relevant. And when you carry relevancy, you also carry the spirit of education. Because anybody who stays relevant is always well informed. 
Today I was speaking to somebody and I said that you cannot be a lazy Christian and cover it up with the Bible. When you have a career, make sure you are well learned. Make sure you study. Don't sit there and pray and not do anything about it. Because faith without works is what? Be well informed. Make education sexy. Make it look attainable. Make it look good. The worst thing you can be is, a well, is an ill-informed teacher. Imagine an ill-informed doctor. Whatever area of your life, you must be well informed. You must have a level of knowledge in your head that makes and keeps you relevant. The people of God are lazy. And I'm going to go fast and pray that I won't put in the work. You put together an LLC, but you don't know nothing else after that. You expect God to make you a sign and a wonder in your business, yet you are not, you are ill-informed. This is not okay. As a child of God, when you speak, you must be articulate. When you speak, you must have a level of knowledge. You cannot be dumb and call yourself a Christian because the Bible makes me understand that the illiterate, even by way of the Spirit, they were birthed out in knowledge. Bible says study to show yourself approved. But yet, Christians are the number one laziest people. And we cover it up with prayer and scripture. But I'm saying this because the daughters of the Zahelophad, they were well informed. They understood that many years ago that there was a promise that they, the Israelites, would possess the land of Canaan. That is what caused them. That is what drove them to make sure that they possessed the land because they had read up on it. In addition to the prayers, in addition to the fasting, in addition to the sowing, they were not lazy. You cannot be a lazy Christian. You must be a well-informed Christian about the right knowledge, not the wrong knowledge. Some of you have the wrong knowledge in your head. You know too much about the shade room and too little about the business God has called you to. Too much about pop culture, but you don't know what God has called you to. Your office, you don't read nothing about the office God has called you to. These girls were well informed. They knew exactly what they were fighting for. They knew that a decree had went out that they had to possess Canaan and they knew that Israel ought to do it. See, being well informed is not just in the book. It's also in the spirit as well too. You should know the times and seasons. That's why I'm saying that tonight, God, what I see is tectonic plates. If those of you who know, you see there's shiftings in the atmosphere. That is the image God keeps showing me. He said that I'm shifting things supernaturally. And so these daughters here, their names were not even called in the genealogy. They carried a level of understanding of the promise, but their names were not in the book. Again, they were so well informed that they decided not to sit back when the census and the, the, the land was being divided. They decided not to sit back. Some of you, you would say, well, my father's name is not in it, so there's no need for me to go to the sharing of the land. Mercy upon you. Carelessness. Many of you, you've lost blessings on the altar of sin 
and carelessness. The Bible did not say for lack of cancer or cancer thereof. It says lack of knowledge, my people perish. Lack of knowledge, my people perish. When you read the word of God, you must read it through the messianic eye. What is Christ saying? Where is Christ in this? Before you can prophetically exegete or sermonize to anyone, you must know the history of the Bible. Because nowadays we have a lot of teachers. We have a lot of heresy. Heresy is when you preach something that is not in the Bible and you cause people to leave the faith. And we have a lot of misinterpretation of the Bible as well in the name of hyper grace. So me, I like well-informed people by way of the spirit. You don't have to speak proper English, but you got to speak proper spirit. Some of you get warped into the English of things and not the spirit of things. So if someone has an accent or they stutter and they're given the word of God, you feel as if it's time to sleep. But that shows your carnality. So these girls had an understanding that I need to make sure we show up, not just one of us, all of us. May your, may your family become so unified that you can fight together. Because that is one major point about this story. They were so unified. Some of you, all you need is another sister with you. All you need is one more brother with you. All you need is your father to gird up his loins. All you need is your mother to finally put down the phone of gossip and lift up the phone of prayer. And your family is set. But you keep fighting alone. All you need is just one more person. That's all you need. That's all you need. And so these women here, they decided that not only will we sit back or go to the meeting and, and, and cry ourselves, because some of you love the pity party stuff. They said, no, we're going to go with the facts. And we will go and challenge the law that is at hand. They didn't go with tears and they didn't go with pride, but they went with the spirit of God that prompted them, stay there, stay there. So they went and they began to hear the discussions and they said, no way. My father did not labor for you to go and take everything we own. Some of you, especially those from the Caribbean, the Africas, you know how it is. They steal your stuff and all the things your parents worked for, it's null and void. May you enjoy and may your children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren enjoy everything that your hand has worked for. You will not have the stories of your fathers your great-grandfathers, your great-great-grandfathers who had a bunch of land, who owned hospitals and police stations, and they owned mad cars, but you still walking in the train station. Who used to give money out to people, but now you are depending on America to pay your college tuition. That's what I always tell people. It's cool, but stop living off the old glory. You, if you are not careful, you will keep riding on the old coattail of glory. One powerful thing about Apostle's story is that he always tells me, the day that he realized that he was not going to make it to the NBA, the day he decided that I'm not going to ride off this glory. And so when he speaks of it, he speaks of it from a place of healing and not a place of a, I should have been. 
There's a difference. When he speaks of it, he speaks of it like I have triumphed. Some of you are riding off the glory of 10 years ago. I used to be skinny. I used to have a small waist. Well, you don't now. Let's get to it. Let's start working out. Let's eat healthy again. I'm serious. My parents used to have money. We used to ride in Benzes. You are riding the MTA. Let me provoke your spirit a bit. Riding off of lost glory. We acknowledge what God has done, but Paul said, never looking back unless I see how far I've come. So when I'm riding off my lost glory, it's to thank God for how far he has brought me. Enough with the I used to. And I want you guys to find me the scripture. There's a scripture in the word of God that says that a fool only a fool says, gone are the good old days. That's when you live off past glory. The Bible said it. It says that someone who is not wise is the only person. Do not say, where were the former days? Why were the former days better than these? For you do not inquire wisely concerning this. If you don't know, it's an abomination because the, Bi the Bible says that we move from glory to glory. Our path shines brighter and brighter. So how is it that back then was better than now? That means there's a problem with you. Your marriage should get better each year, not worse. Your children should get better each year, not worse. Your relationship should get better each year, not worse. Your circumstance should get better each year, but not worse. And so when you begin to see these discrepancies in your life, you must know that something is wrong. When you realize that your life has taken a turn from worse to worser, remember these girls. They said we won't ride off the coattail of our dad's former glory. He's dead because his name is not even there. So people will not even consider us. It would be different if his name were in the books. And for his name to be in the book, it would require that he had a son. You see, back in the day, women were not considered at all. They only counted the headships, even though women took a very huge role in those times. So the Bible says that they went to Moses, and I want us to put that part up. They went to Moses, and when they approached Moses, they approached him with facts. Someone say facts. Facts. And they stood before Moses, before Eleazar the priest, and before the leaders and all the congregation by the doorway of the tabernacle of meeting. Now, again, it's important to be well informed and not just preach a preaching because you heard it somewhere. The reason why it's important that they state by the doorway of the tabernacle of meeting is because women were not allowed in that area. Women were considered unclean spiritually. So you don't have any business getting near the altar at all. So for them to go that far, that's a level of gangster. That's a level of protocol breaking. That's a level of, I'm going to get this done by the Spirit of God. Continue. Our father died in the wilderness, but he was not in the company of those who gathered against the Lord. In the company of Korah. Again, they were well informed. They were well informed. Some of you don't know nothing about your backgrounds and you think it's okay. If nobody is physically there, you should now be praying that the spirit of the Lord should reveal things to you. 
And some of you, your parents won't tell you much. And so lest you pray and the Holy Spirit begins to show you things, that's why your prayer life is just all over. You don't even know where to hit. But these girls understood. They said, don't add my father to those people who had sinned against the Lord because they were called the accursed. But he did his own thing. But he died in his own sin. Not because he, he sinned against the Lord. Everything in the Bible should be highlighted to you. Continue. Why should the name of our father be removed from amongst his family? Because he had no son. Give us a possession among our father's brothers. They were bold in their asking because they had a level of information that required them to be so bold because I believe if Moses would have refuted them, the next thing they would have went back into the book of Leviticus, into the book of Exodus actually, and began to reveal what the Lord had said about Israel, that they would take possession. But Moses knew who he was dealing with. Continue. So Moses brought their case before the Lord. It's very easy for you to want an answer today, right now, here. But it is also wisdom that you always inquire of the Lord and you wait upon him. And this goes back to the shepherds. If you text if you, respond, if you email, if you send a smoke signal and you don't get a response, just know that some, some of us that are called into leadership, we like to inquire of the Lord. Because if you're not careful, you will be the same person that blames me that I told you to go into nursing. Remember, Adam went to God and said, you gave me this woman. And so Moses, he probably had heard that story. So he said, let me go check up the Lord before you come and blame me. Continue. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, the daughters of Zahalophad speak what is what? Right. What is what? Right. It's important that you highlight these things in your head because they didn't speak their emotions. They didn't speak their opinions. They spoke what the Lord was saying in that season. This is why you must know the word of God. Because at times your emotions won't cut it in prayer. What is the Lord saying? What is the promise of God concerning your life? What does the scripture say? Because the word of God is exalted above him. That's the only thing that's exalted. So if you don't give him back his word, how can he comply to your prayer? They spoke what was right. You shall surely give them a possession of inheritance among their father's brothers and cause the inheritance of their father to pass to them. I was watching a movie about this. And the Bible or the movie depicted that as they were walking to the sanctuary, there were men and women there and they were murmuring, like, what are these people doing? They are breaking protocol. They are breaking rank. They are doing something that we've never seen done before. And so we're either with them or not. And so the Bible says that the Lord said what he had to say continue and you shall speak to the children of Israel so five girls caused a governmental shift in the system five girls were able to change a decree five girls were able to change the law that had been set many many years ago Five nobodies. Five nobodies. But you, a somebody, 
What can you do? If a man dies and has no son, then you shall cause his inheritance to pass on to his daughter. A Bible full of this begat, that begat, that begat, that, which mentioned barely any women. Now, now, because of five girls, because of five girls, now women were a part of the system. Because of five girls who knew exactly the word of the Lord. Five girls who had been travailing as a family. Five girls who knew the word of the Lord said that the wicked, the wicked, the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the just. But the wealth of the righteous should not be taken and given to the unjust. They understood this. Continue. If he has no daughter, then you shall give it to give his inheritance to his brothers. If he has no brothers, then he shall give his inheritance to his father's brothers. Continue. Now the Lord said to Moses, Go up into Mount Abram and see the land which I have given to the children of Israel. Continue. And when you have seen it, you shall also, you also shall be gathered to your people as Aaron, your brother, was gathered. For in the wilderness of Zin, during the strife of the congregation, you rebelled against my command to hollow me at the waters before the eyes. There at the water, I don't need this part. Someone say five girls. Say five girls. When you continue reading, you realize that because they had changed the law, now their marriages also had to go under the law of Christ. Because if I've given you your father's inheritance and no inheritance should go outside the tribe, now your marriage now has to be subjected to my lordship. So you can't go and marry outside of that either. And so now they have caused another shifting in the realms of the spirit. Now, now there is equally yokeness in the realms of the spirit. And so these five girls secured the future for the women of Israel. These five girls made it okay to have a woman as the firstborn. So if you are a firstborn daughter, you are now a part of the number for a reason. Because of five girls who decided to stand up for something. And so today you might be wondering, girl, what are you talking about so long? The Lord said that these are game changers. And tonight I decree the spirit of the game changer upon your life. I decree the spirit of the game changer upon your life. I decree the spirit of the protocol breaker upon your life. I decree the breakers to anointing upon your life. That which your whole generational line could not do. That which they said that it was impossible to do. That which they said that you were not qualified to do. The Lord said that today he's making you a generational chain breaker. He said you are a game changer. You are a game changer. If they used to die early, you've changed the game to a
and so I couldn't go. But when I turned it down, without anyone even knowing, because they didn't even send it through the emails, they sent it straight to my DMs. They said that, we wish to have you on this huge stage. And I said, the way things are, I have marriages it, that we prayed for coming up. No one knew about this. The man who married Apostle and I, he called us. He said, the Lord is making you guys go into territories that no African has entered. Jesus. He's raising your voice up to places that normal Africans who preach the gospel are not allowed to enter. And so today I come with you yeah. with an anointing that breaks the chains where the accents don't go. The Lord said that your accents will go there where your culture does not go. The Haitian anointing, we break it and we call you a systematic chain breaker. That's a chain breaking anointing. That is what they did. your accent is not supposed to go where your speech sounds too ghetto Jesus. where financially you don't deserve to be God said that the, the word of God says I, I don't just pull you out of the dung hills to put you back in the projects I don't just pull you out of the dung hills to make you look like you were saved and that's it. He said, I will send you with kings. Hey! With kings. With kings. With kings. With kings. I, I, I want you to pull stuff out of the spirit. Because the thing that is not normal, the places where you don't belong, where your skin color thinks they can limit you, hey. where your speech thinks they can limit you, hey. where your finances think they can limit you, hey. we call upon the God hey. who rewrote the law hey. for the tortoise of the hell of hell. You forgot about the little nobody 
that ended up in the palace that was able to stop genocide. If you forgot, her name was Esther. She walked in on the scene in a time that it was not normal to go and see the king. There was a protocol to see the king. There was a time and a season. But when you are a pioneer, when you carry the game-changing anointing, uh -huh. only Makana Masuta, you end up walking on the scene. Jesus. And every power hey. must bow down to the power that is inside of you. Jesus. After tonight, you cannot be limited. You will not be limited. I command you by the authority given to me in Christ Jesus. Yes, Lord. Enough with the LLC type of testimonies. Jesus. I'm talking about companies that are being on the market that are... Ah! Some of you don't apply for certain positions because in your mind and your work frame you don't have the degree for it but say of the Lord I am the Lord that changes laws I've changed the laws that was set many decades many centuries for five women There's an apostolic anointing tonight. There's an apostolic anointing tonight. Yes, Lord. There's a governmental rule anointing tonight. Yes, Lord. There's a rule of breaking governmental yes, protocol yes, tonight. tonight. I came as a prophet yes. to tell you, say of the Lord, I am breaking chains for your sake. such a time as this for such a time as this for such a time as this this church I always tell you guys I am not a person who resists the work of God all my life you can check with anybody who knows me the only thing I ask the Lord that if you're going to give us a church I need you to give us a church that when they come in desolate, when they come in bound, when they come in low, you need to give us the testimony that in this house, they move from glory to glory. And the Lord responded to me. And the Lord responded to me. He said, I am giving you chain breaking anointing. He said, I am giving you an influence of a church. Everyone who enters this church, they will carry a level of influence that will not be common to those around them. A level of impact that will not be common to those around them. I'm giving some of them a national voice. A national voice. A national voice. A national voice. A national a national voice, a national voice, a national voice, a national voice, a national voice. And so you can play with KFT if you want to, but the covenant we went into before we started this thing, the covenant still speaks. You cannot dwell here and be planted here and end up as a nobody it is impossible it cannot happen my sincere prayer is that Lord give us a church where they never divorce let it be known as the church 
Well, all of them got married young and they died together in 120 years. None of them divorced. Give us a church where they all own. See, ownership is one of the things we'll be talking about for the 21 day fast. But I want you to understand that ownership is not just saying you own something. But every time you own something, you carry the spirit of Christ, which means the spirit of Christ now owns something. And once you are there, you will lift up the altar of Christ. And if your house is over there and your business is over there, that means this whole block has to bow down to the Lordship of Christ. And so ownership is expanding the kingdom of God. Ownership is advancement. And so when we come together like this, we don't have to pray about open heavens and we don't have to break territorial rule because the altar of Christ has been lifted up everywhere. Ownership is so much bigger because now there is an altar of Christ being lifted up every day at 65 Tokini. And so the suicidal rate that is in Darien for the rich folks, for the rich people, it has to decrease. You understand? Your influence allows the altar of God to be raised. Because of five women, they were able to change things. Tonight, there's an assignment for you. Yes, Lord. The Lord told me to tell you there's an assignment for you, a time-sensitive assignment. The ark could not be built by no one else but Noah. Esther had to be the one there to save the Jews. Your assignment is time sensitive. And so if you don't get this word in your belly and understand that at the very least, for the sake of your family, you must break through. For the sake of your family, you have to succeed. For the sake of your family, the voice that God has given to you must extend across borders. For the sake of your family, you must now be a patron. You must now be a benefactor. See, many of us, we have become beneficiaries every day receiving. Every day receiving. And we'll pray about help because we need help. But when can you be the helper? When can you be the helper? This is why church folk are always upset with pastors when they look good. Because the expectation is, I'm supposed to keep giving to you. Today, I want to change your mind. These girls didn't have a pity party. They knew the word of the Lord. They bend together as one. And they waged a good warfare. They went into territories that were not fit for them. Unclean women, how dare you enter that close? How dare you? These women were women who decided that I will not allow anything to limit me. Today you must decide, you must decide that you will not allow anything to limit you. It is not possible for things to keep limiting you. My husband used to joke with me and say that you, when it comes to social studies, I don't know where you've been. And I told him, it's not that I don't see the slavery stuff. I'm very well informed on that. But what I got to do with me? My skin color and me being a woman. It's a double negative already, even in the church arena. But what that got to do with me? Because I've made up my mind. This is one of my favorite stories, and most of you know, Ark of Women, I've done it with you before. What does limited mindsets have to do with me? 
what, that, what does that have to do with me? Yes, black people have been put back a thousand, a million years, all that good stuff. But I thought that we cut our umbilical cord. I thought that we were kingdom citizens. So though I acknowledge it, though I'm very well aware, you cannot racially profile me in any way. I'm telling you. You must decide that tonight is the last night. That you will be limited. You must decide that tonight is the last night. You must decide that me too, I will sit with kings. He does not just raise you out of the dung hills to put you back in the projects. He does not do that. He doesn't raise you out of the dung hills to put you in the same situation or worse. So you must intentionally decide that after tonight's prayers, I cannot be limited. I cannot be limited. My voice cannot be limited. My color cannot limit me. My race cannot limit me. My gender cannot limit me. My gender cannot limit me. You are a game changer. Yes. Make sure you put that as the title, game changer. Game changer. No, no, I want you to feel it in your spirit. You see, you must hear these things because so I've learned sound bites are very important. Sound bites are very important. What you listen to is extremely important. If you keep hearing the same sound bite over and over and over, you believe it. I defy the armies of God. That was a sound bite. Goliath carried a sound bite. And he did not have to do much. But all he had to do was keep repeating that sound bite over and over and over. You are a black woman. You can never make it. You are a black man. You can never make it. You are a church girl. You can never make it. You are a church boy. You are limited. That's a sound bite. This is why the Bible says that faith comes by hearing, hearing what? The word of God. The sound bite. The sound bite that you hear is important. The sound bite that you hear. Tonight, the sound bite that must be in your head. I am a game changer. I am a game changer. I am a system breaker. I am a system breaker. Because of me. Because of me. God will rewrite the law. God will rewrite the law. That's the sound bite for you. Yes. You hear something I believe 13 or 16 times um, Minister Cindy Trim was talking about it she said if you can hear something 13 times in a row you believe it that's what science says but science mimics Christ and the Bible already told us that your faith is only increased by your what and so if you choose not to listen to the word of God that is being preached on a consistent basis on the Monday to Friday when we are giving the word of the Lord on the middays, on the midnights, on the Bible studies. You are only doing yourself a disservice. And when you don't hear the word of the Lord, you break rank. You break rank. How is it that Saul, a whole king, anointed as king you are not a priest but why go and sacrifice where you don't need to sacrifice because the sound bite that he was hearing you're not understanding what I'm telling you you must you must get this in your ear you are a game changer Again, you did not come into Christ to stay the same. You did not come into Christ to watch the generational curses that you prayed about just this year alone happen to you. 
Forget about the other years. This year alone, if you've been following KFT at least twice a week, at the very least twice a week, you have prayed prayers that you should not experience. We pray against everything under the sun. Saul heard the wrong thing and went and dedicated to an altar where he was not supposed to dedicate to. See, when you don't hear Christ, you get envious and you break rank. The brothers of Joseph, I can boldly say they were foolish. Because if you listen to the dream, they were all going to be put on. It just so happened that Joseph might be a little higher than them, but they were all going with Joseph. But when you hear the wrong thing, you begin to get jealous of people. You begin to break rank. But when you are on track, you don't get trapped. And when you are on course, you don't get cursed. And so what you hear is extremely important. You cannot sit around here hearing the woes of man and not the word of God. Tonight, I want us to pray. I want you to pray. And we're going into three dimensions of prayer. Before we ask for this game change and anointing, some of you, you need to pray this prayer. You are due to be helped by someone. But there's a power that averts your help. Moses was the one who helped them. Today in prayer, the Lord said that some of them, I, heaven has already sanctioned them to be favored. But man is resisting their favor. And that's because there's a spirit. How many people have promised you a job and at the last end, they tell you it was given to someone? How many people have promised you money and they look like they were going to give it to you? How many people have promised you an opportunity? Imagine Moses hearing from God that let them change the laws and Moses not saying it out loud and telling them, nope, you can't have it. So heaven can favor you, but if man doesn't, then there's an issue. And today, whatever evil power averts your help, whatever evil power does not allow people to fully come through when they say they will, whatever evil power causes people to avert you, Whatever voice deters people from helping you, today we must silence that voice. We must silence that voice. We must silence that voice. And so I'll end with this. What you hear is extremely important. For years, the daughters had been hearing that Israel was going to possess lands. And so all they knew is that even if my father died, the promise out there was that Israel was going to possess the land. That was the sound bite that they heard over and over and over and over. And today the sound bite that I want you to continue to hear is that you are a game changer. You are a system breaker. God has called you to rewrite some things in your family, in your lineage, in your generation. You are not allowed to be mediocre. Your assignment makes you irreplaceable. Noah's assignment made him irreplaceable. In a time where there was no water, how dare you tell him to build an ark? Some of you, what God is asking you to do, it does not make generational sense. It doesn't make sense, but it makes signs. And so tonight I come with the prophetic word that God gave me. It said that there's a game-changing anointing here. There is an anointing of the game-changer. It also falls under the pioneer's anointing. 
is an anointing to bulldoze. It's an anointing to write the blueprint. It's an anointing to do what cannot be done, but is being done by the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight, the Lord will change you from a beneficiary to a benefactor. We don't rise by no knowledge. We rise by a revelation. Before I met my husband, the Lord told me that don't ever pray that, uh, what is it, Sammy, what is the people, the loans people? Sally, see, I don't even know them. That Sally Mae would be obstructed by the Russians. I never prayed those type of prayers. That Lord caused the loan forgiveness. The Lord told me that I would give you a large lump sum to pay off your student loans. And so I never prayed from the area of a beneficiary that Lord caused the system to break for my sake. No. I said, Lord, you opened your mouth and said a large lump sum. Before the church even hit, I'm sitting there, my husband said, from work, I've been able to save 100K. I want to pay off your loans just like that. I never pray, Lord, let the system break. Let Russia come and corrupt us. I'm serious, I never, I never desired those prayers. Because there are certain prayers that just, it does not fit who I am. Tonight you are a game changer. You are a system breaker. You are a law changer. Say, I am a law changer. I am a law changer. Repeat, I am a law changer. I am a law changer. Say, any help. Any help that has isolated me. That has isolated me. Any help. Any help that is due unto me. That is due unto me. Any evil power. Any evil power that has isolated my help. That has isolated my help. Tonight. Tonight. As I pray. As I pray. I call upon. I call upon the God who changes laws. The God who changes laws. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Lord, begin to change laws. Lord, begin to change. Come on, pray. Jesus say any evil power any evil power in my life in my life sending away help sending away help sending away my helper sending away my helper any veil any veil that keeps my helpers away from me keeps my helpers away tonight tonight turn my captivity oh lord turn my captivity turn my captivity oh lord as i begin to pray as i begin to pray i silence every evil that keeps my help. That keeps my help. Away from me. Away from me. Come on, pray. <laughs> 
In the name of Jesus. You see, if Moses did not comply and he played it off as if things were just supposed to be normal, no matter how much heaven had sanctioned it, they would have been cheated from land. Some of you, the Lord is telling me personally, as I stand up here, he said that I have sanctioned someone to help them. Some of you, you are due for help. It, don't you find it strange that you can't find a proper job? But heaven has sanctioned it. You've prayed, you've sold, you've fasted. There are opportunities. Give it up for the man of God. You've prayed, you've fasted. Your help is due. Your help is supposed to be there. But some demonic blanket has covered you. Jesus. Psalm 23, 6. Psalm 20. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. We know this scripture, but I want you to take it a step further. The word follow here, when you translate it into Hebrew, means chase. Now read it again. Surely, goodness and mercy shall So if you're not experiencing goodness and mercy, goodness and mercy should be like a backpack to you. Goodness and mercy. They are supposed to chase after you. They don't just follow you. Me following you is different from me chasing after you. The Bible says when you, when you properly find the Hebrew context, it says chase. Your help should be chasing after you. But some of you, because of some strange voices, you are favored. In heaven, it, it, your name is written on the favored list. But why is it not here on earth? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On where? So why don't we see it here on earth? And do you know the tagline for KFT? And so what has been sanctioned in heaven for you from January 1st until now? All the things that you were promised. The issue sometimes is not that you were not promised. The thing is heaven has said that go ahead, favor her. But the man or the woman that is supposed to favor you, there is a voice that has kept them away. There is an evil veil that has kept them away. There's an evil something that has kept them away. And so think it not strange that your dream life does not match your physical life. So in your dream life, you got to accept it. But in your physical life, you have not gotten accepted. In your dream life, the marriage looks good. But in your physical life, your spouse is not favoring you. In your dream life, the healing has been already allotted to you. But physically, you are being oppressed. Think it odd. This is why we pray to manifest the kingdom of God here on earth. When God gave us KFT, he said that the way heaven looks, that's the way I want you to pull it down for this church. So anyone ask you why we pray so hard? 
because we are manifesting and manifestation takes some work tonight any help that is due to you yes. you are pulling it down yes, Lord. it must manifest here yes, Lord. whoever must favor you whoever must give you the discount yes. whoever must give it to you for free whoever must write the letter whoever must accept the deal whatever contract needs to be written whoever must propose whoever must come whoever must go tonight as i pray i pull down my hell come on pray yes lord we pull it down we pull it down In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that upon my Zion there shall be deliverance. There will be holiness. And Jacob shall possess his possession. Yes, Lord. That spirit of hardship that follows you. You don't know there's a spirit called hardship we've all been through it but some of us broke out you must hate that spirit this spirit causes you when everything is going smooth for everyone you can't catch a break one simple background check yours will take seven months one simple contract 
it will take three years for them to sign. One simple acceptance into medical school, law school, as for you. We must do a 90-day fast for you. But you see, Jesus dealt with that spirit of hardship. Remember when he was on the boat and the storm came. The Bible says that he rebuked the wind. But what I love about that passage is the Bible says that, and they made it to the other side. Tonight I prophesy that you will make it to the other side. Jesus. Whatever hardship wants to resist you from making it to the other side. Tonight I push you into the other side. Yes, Lord. You will receive help. Yes, Lord. You will receive help. Yes, Lord. You will receive help. Yes, Lord. Say spirit of hardship. Spirit of hardship. That entered my destiny. That entered my destiny. At birth. I pray. Or through sin. Through sin. Tonight, Tonight, your time, your time is, up. is up. Come on, pray. <laughs> we cast that demon of hardship. We cast it out. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Yes, out. Yes, 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 Because Jesus was on the boat, yet there was a storm. But there are areas of your life that you should testify of ease. Some things can be a struggle because God is breaking some generational things. But some things have to come with ease. You should be able to testify at least one area of your life comes with ease. And so any King Uzziah that is ruling over your life, Jesus. that has decided that it will torment you, Jesus. 
any spirit of King Uzziah, Jesus. tonight they must fall down and die. Whoa. That spirit must die tonight. Die. Uh, say any King Uzziah, every King Uzziah, ruling over the affairs, over the affairs of, my life, of my life, causing hardship, causing hardship. tonight. tonight. root. Tonight, that's what we're doing. See, the Bible says that there was a storm, yet God did not, Jesus did not rebuke a storm. He rebuked the wind. He realized it was the wind that was causing the waters to stir. Tonight, 
we call upon the acts of God yes, to enter into the root issues of your life yes, Lord. and uproot everything Jesus. and the amazing thing about that passage is that when you go to I believe the version that Luke tells when they made it to the other side the Bible said that a demon possessed man came out of the cave and said why are you tormenting me when Jesus had just stepped on the sea he didn't even say nothing to him so that means that when he rebuked the wind he dealt with all territorial powers tonight may the Lord begin to deal with the root issue of your hardship that which has caused hardship for many years when you read the Bible read it with a proper eye when Jesus stepped ashore he was met by a demon possessed man from the town for a long time this man had not worn clothes why did the demon possessed man just come and enter and, and why because he had dealt with the root cause of those demons that were tormenting those in the area tonight God said that he lays his axe to the root and anything that he has not planted anything the Bible says that when we slept the enemy sowed tears when we were in our sin the enemy sowed tears when we were in our ignorance the enemy planted a few things when we did not know better the enemy was able to come and drop a few things tonight we lay the axe to the root. Yes. You should hate hardship. That's another sound bite for you. I hate hardship. Some of you have been in it so long that you think it is the norm. So it has become a mindset that this is normal. It's not normal. It's not normal to be denied for a whole year. It's not normal. It's not normal. Tonight, any power Jesus. calling your destiny into captivity, Jesus. any power stealing your virtue secretly, Jesus. any power that is sowing tears into your life, Jesus. Tonight, tonight, may they fall down, fall down. and die. And die.
uproot and leave it otherwise you give space for weeds to grow tonight we're praying and as the word has come forth that five game changers today that the spirit of the game changer would come upon you yes, Lord. the spirit that causes one to bulldoze through economic systems, financial systems, governmental systems that causes one to break through the limitation of gender, the limitation of skin color, the limitation of country, the limitation of finance, the limitation of resource. May that spirit come upon you tonight as you begin to pray. May the Lord put upon you the spirit of the game changer. Pray! Yes, receive it. It's a bulldozing anointing. It's a pioneering anointing. It's an anointing of acceleration. An anointing of speed. Of speed. Of speed. Of speed. Of breakthrough. A breakthrough. A breakthrough. A breakthrough. A breakthrough. A breakthrough. your hands on your head. That demon that fogs up your brain. Jesus. That doesn't allow you to think or be creative. Jesus Christ. That doesn't allow you to retain scripture. Jesus. Right now. Lose her. 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 Lose him. Lose him. Lose him. Lose him. Lose him. That demon that does not allow you to think past your limitation. That demon that keeps uttering the wrong sound bite to you right now right now yes 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 Priscilla receive it receive it receive it we cast that demon out and we put the spirit of creativity that demon that limits you from bulldozing from pioneering 
that keeps you okay with being mediocre. That ordinary anointing. That ordinary anointing. That ordinary anointing that won't allow you to break forth. That won't allow you to break through. Right now. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Now. 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 Out. You limiting demon. I speak to you now. Leave Denise right now. Yes, Leave Denise right now. Yes, Lord. Leave Denise right now. Yes, Lord. Leave her now. 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 Out to the abyss. Yes, now. Ow. Leave her. Ow. Now. Ow. Now. Ow. Now. Ow. Now. Ow. Now. Ow. Now. 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 A spirit of might at work. as if you've been unusually lazy I want you to pray this prayer say Spirit of God, Spirit of God deliver, me today deliver me today from the Spirit, from the spirit that, keeps me bound, that keeps me bound that keeps me unenergetic that keeps me uncreative right now as I pray let that spirit leave me now 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 scream it out The spirit that the daughters of Zahelophad carried. Not to be la lackadaisical. Not to allow people to come and bulldoze them from their possession. It's called the spirit of might. May it come upon you right now. Yes, Lord. May the spirit of might come upon you right now. Yes, Lord. May the spirit of might come upon you right now. Yes, Lord. May the spirit of might come upon you right now. Yes, Lord. May the spirit of might come upon you right now. Yes, Lord. May the spirit of might come upon you right now. Yes, Lord. Liz, receive it. Receive May the spirit of might yes, come Lord. upon you yes, Lord. now. Yes, Lord. The spirit that did not cause them to say that my father's name was not in the registry Jesus. but I will fight for it fight. may that bulldozing anointing come upon you now yes, may it come upon you now Jesus. may it come upon you now yes, may it come upon you now yes, even tonight as you go home put a pen to paper Jesus. and begin to write the vision yes, make it plain Jesus. make it plain Jesus. make it plain Jesus. may he give you a million dollar idea yes, even Lord. tonight yes. may he give you strategy on how to war yes. for your inheritance yes, Lift up your hands. You see, in life, there's levels to everything. We don't share much because we're pastors. We made $100,000 within a week one time. That's nothing. Nope, don't clap. Then I went to Kenya, and I heard a woman of God. And she said she made a million dollars in a weekend. And I realized there's levels to this creativity. And if a mere man can do it, 
how much more me and my husband. Tonight, let the spirit that was upon the daughters of Zahalophath that caused them to possess their inheritance. The spirit that comes upon a man that causes them to have economic breakthrough. The spirit that comes upon a man that gives them creativity to be kingdom advancers, to be kingdom financiers. Tonight, let that spirit fall upon you. May the Lord begin open your mind even right now to possess your inheritance not just get your deliverance but a part of possessing your inheritance is your deliverance and tonight I decree by the virtue of the Lord that you are receiving what is due unto you by way of the word of God we stand on the integrity of the scriptures and we call you a game changer. We call you a crucial point. Yes, Lord. We call you the turning point in your family. Yes, Lord. We call you the critical point in your family. Yes, Lord. We call you the breaking point in your family. Yes, Lord. We call you the crossway in your family. Yes, Lord. We call you the Damascus Road in your family. Yes, Lord. We call you the twist in your family. Yes, Lord. We call you the cornerstone that they rejected. Yes, Lord. Oh, tonight, yes, Lord. let the game changing yes, anointing. Lord. Brood over you. Brood over you. Brood over you. Brood over me. You are the secret weapon. Yes, Lord. You are the hidden weapon. Yes, Lord. You are the game changer. Say, I am the game changer. Say, I am the game changer. I am the game changer. I need you to decree and declare like you believe it. I am, I am the game changer. I am the game changer. In my family, I am the system breaker. In my family, I am the law changer. In my family, I will break through. the tipping point you are the tipping point you understand what the tipping point is after you things must break I was watching pastor Sarah Jakes today and I said imagine if my father would have served God in such a way that I could stand on his shoulders. You're impressed with what God is doing with me now. But imagine. imagine. And the Lord said that you are the game changer, girl. Yes, Lord. Tonight I declare the game changing anointing upon your life. Lord. Your children will stand on your shoulders and gather 40 and 50 and 60 and 100 people together you understand that's an anointing we're celebrating the man of God has allowed his daughter to stand on his shoulder that's what game-changing looks like your children will not have to do too much your children will not have to pray certain prayers. They will stand on your shoulders and continue from where you ended. And where you ended will not be just in the projects. It will be on a national scale. It will be on a governmental scale. The 
Some of you, your parents had stores back home in Haiti, in Ghana, in Nigeria, in Jamaica, in Puerto Rico. They had little stores. Imagine if they ha carried that game-changing anointing. They did what they can. But imagine if they did. You would own Walmart. You would own your own Target. We get to see it in broad daylight. Bishop T.D. Jakes. His daughter is able to gather, not necessarily because of what she has done, but she can stand on the shoulder of a giant. May your children be able to stand on your shoulder yes, Lord. and do exploits. Yes, Lord. May you be the change that you wish to see. I want you to begin to thank God right now. Yes, Lord, Father, we thank you. Thank you. Thank him that you are the deciding factor. Thank you, Lord. You are the key element to this occasion. We thank you, Lord, that we are the Come on, thank him. Thank him just as loud as you are. Come on, don't be diplomatic with your thanksgiving. Glorify his name for such a message, for such a prophetic word. Your name shall be. And the word has been fulfilled today. Sister Raquel and Brother Sam. This weekend, that word is being fulfilled. And the word today is game changer. I pray that in a couple of months, that you will be the sign and the wonder for this particular word. You are the game changer. You are the winning hand. You are the tipping point. You are the crossroads. You are the decision maker. You are the one who steps on the scene and Christ is in you and the hope of glory. God said that you are a game changer. Just like the daughters of Zahalophad were not able to just get their inheritance, but they were able to cause God to change the law for the sake of Israel. May the Lord use you as a monumental name in this generation. When we are calling the greats in your field of expertise, May we call upon your name. When we are calling upon the kings and queens of your particular field, may you be a part of the names. May your name not be dead like that of Zehelophah, but may your name be reprised because of the spirit of God that is upon you. Today the Lord says that you are a game changer. You are a game changer. Come on, shout it five times for grace. I am a game changer. May the Lord change the rules for you. And I'm a prophet that understands time. May the Lord change something this year for you. 
before we enter into 2024, may you be able to testify that the rules changed for you. That they were looking for a particular type of person. But when you interview, they changed the rules. They said those who had a master's. But because you don't have a master's, but because God has made you a game changer, now they decided to take your bachelor's and or certificate and still give you the same amount. May the Lord break protocol for you because he's a protocol breaker. Come on, he's a protocol breaker. There is nothing you cannot do, protocol breaker. Sing it like your declaration. There is nothing you cannot do, Jehovah, over you. I have tasted of your love. I have seen your mighty works. Mountain move on my love, on your love and in my Oh, there is nothing you Come on, you this is your declaration. for you do you know that in the land of Darien where the KKK was started a bunch of black kids own land on this land that's called game-changing anointing the same bunch of black kids own 130 acres of land where slaves were bought and beat. If you don't know the game-changing anointing that I'm talking about, you're seeing it in the flesh. You standing here, you are part of history. And don't you ever forget that. We told God that if you do it for us, we will never stop telling it. Today, you and I, we are part of Game Changers. I went to go and do my nails, and the man asked me, where is your church? I said, Darianne. He literally gasped. He said that black people don't own things there. It's a game-changing anointing. And Sam and Raquel, may your wedding, may your marriage, as this word has come forth, may your marriage bring about the game-changing anointing upon your family, upon this church. May we enter into a season of consecutive win after win after win. In the name of Jesus, please go back to your seats. Let us be on our feet. We're leaving now. But I want you to sow into this word. have learned that the lowest form of sowing because there's a lowest form of sowing is seeing that you are giving money to God that's the lowest form of sowing but anytime you sow I want you to see it as an investment into your future 
Because when you look at it as mere money, you miss the principle behind sowing. Tonight, I want you to invest into the word. I want you to plant a seed into the word for you and generations to come. I want you to place a demand over your seed as well too. Don't just come and sow it. And those of you who go out of the spirit anytime we talk about it, go back into the spirit. Because when you are a game changer, money for you is not currency, but it's investment. It's a catalyst. One woman of God said, going to the bank to deposit a thousand dollars should be a thing of the past very soon in your life. Your life should speak of so much fruit. So I want you to place a seed in your hand and place a demand. You know what you need to be changed. You know what laws you need to be changed. You know what, what requirements that you need to be changed. And I want you to come and hit the altar. And you are declaring that I am a game changer. I am a game changer. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol prayer. There is nothing you in the name of Jesus we covenant with this word as we place an investment a seed into this word we ask that it germinates and yields many many fruit in Jesus name amen the young man in the back there that just sat down the Lord is going to show you that he's so real that between now and the next three months, he's about to change something to allow you to know that he is so real and it will arrest you into his kingdom. He's about to break protocol for you. And so I want you to continue praying about this word. Lord, make me a game changer. Make me a game changer. Because I see you holding a basketball and a Bible. I see you holding a basketball and a Bible. Don't know you from anywhere. But the Lord said he'll change things for you. Do you play basketball? You do. The Lord is going to show you that he is real. Is gonna break rank for you. I want us to be on our feet as we ask our Father to give us the benediction. And I want you to remember that you are a game changer. 
You are a game changer. God will break protocols for you. That's the sound bite that I need you to hear. What you hear is what you become. You are a game changer and God will break rank for you. He will break protocol for your sake. And so anytime you enter into a difficult situation, let this sound bite begin to play in your head. That God, you've called me to be a game changer. Like the daughters of Zahelophat. That is the sound bite. Amen. Please don't forget that God willing this Sunday, we're all coming with our apparel. We also have KFT University t-shirts that will be sold. If you are coming to give your testimony, you can dress up and later on change into your college wear, your school wear. You can wear the KFT University. It's going to be a good time. Bring any children. The firefighters will be here with their fire trucks as well too. And so it's gonna be a good time. And we wanna pray for the students and we wanna pray for the teachers as well. That wherever our children are represented in the schools, that whoever decides to pull out a gun, that gun would cock back and not even work. We are praying that no evil can even enter the grounds of the schools. That this year our children will not be a part of any casualties. And so in as much as it will be fun, it will also be a time of intense prayer. And so please make sure that you are represented and your children are represented and your school is represented. And if you go to KFT University, let that be represented as well too. Amen. And we call forth our Father. Come on, celebrate Jesus for tonight, what he has done. What are we going to say to the woman of God? Amen. Amen. Say, I'm a game changer. In Jesus' name. May you break all the rules and change all the games. In Jesus' name. Now, when you look at Psalm 103, verse 2 to 5, before we pray, we go, I just want to release healing in the atmosphere. And that if you have anyone homesick, we send in healing there right now. If you are watching and you are sick, maybe you are in a hospital, we are praying that the healing will be your portion. In Jesus' name. So I want us to just tap into that word of God right now. It said, Bless the Lord. Oh my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgiveth all thine iniquity who healeth all thy diseases amen somebody say he heals all my diseases say he heals say he heals oh do you believe it say it again say he heals all my diseases say he heals all my diseases say he heals all my diseases say it again say he heals all my diseases say he heals all all my diseases say he heals all my diseases Last one say he heals all my diseases. Lift up your hands, receive him. It is him that is doing the healing. And wherever you are sick right now, wherever you are sick, maybe in the hospital bed, right now, healing is coming to you right now. Just look up to Jesus, he's touching you. He is the Lord that heals all our diseases. He's healing you. He's healing you. He's healing you. If you're going to sing, please sing. He's healing you right now. Father, heal your people. You heal all diseases. Those that are sick with cancer. High blood pressure, 
diabetes, those that are having heart issues, right now, be healed. For oh, he heals. He heals all your diseases. The Lord Jesus heals all your diseases. The Lord Jesus heals all, 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 including that neck problem, that back problem, that knee problem, that vein problem, that artery problem, that stomach problem. Oh, the Lord is healing you. He's healing your headaches. He's healing your eyes. He's healing your ears. He's healing your nose. He's healing every part of your being. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Something is happening here. Look up to the Lord Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. He is the one that heals all your diseases. He is the one that heals all your diseases. He is the one that heals all. All. Atalabasi kadilalabasata. Look at that healing. Look at the hand of God coming on you. You may be home right now. You're feeling His presence now. Healing. Healing is coming on to you. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive your healing. That chest problem is going. Every diagnosis, I cancel any surgery, I cancel anything that the enemy wants to do with you. Receive healing now, receive your healing. He said, He heals all your diseases, not some, but all, but all. you are healed you are healed you are healed he heals all your diseases all of it you are healed it is done in the name of Jesus thank you Lord for healing our diseases Father, thank you for healing us from mental problems. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed from the crown of your hands to the sole of your feet be here be here in Jesus name in Jesus name thank you Lord 
for healing everyone. Thank you, Lord, for healing those in the hospital right now. Thank you. Thank you for destroying and canceling diagnosis, 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 diagnosis. We cancel every diagnosis in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus name. Amen. You are healed. Say I'm healed. I'm healed. Oh, say I'm healed. I'm healed. Say I am healed. I'm healed. Amen. Now if you believe that you're healed, begin to do what you couldn't do before. If you, there's anyone here that was in some kind of pain, some kind of sickness, and you feel like God has healed you, we would like to take a testimony from you. Please testify because testify would will seal the healing. Amen. Check. Check by faith because something has happened right now. In the name of you, begin to check yourself. Begin to check. Those in the hospital bed, the Lord has healed you. Those watching at home, the Lord has healed you. You are free. Your diagnosis has changed. A miracle. The doctors will see a miracle. They will see a miracle. They say, what happened? I thought this was this, but now it's that. May that be your testimony. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, is anyone healed? If you are here, you felt a release of something. God has taken it away. It's very important. You can stand here. We will get, take a testimony from you. It's very important. Just check yourself. Unless we don't have anyone sick in this house, which is a blessing. But we should bring more sick people to the house of God, especially on Fridays. Bring sick people. Bring people who need healing. Amen. Because Jesus is in the healing business in this house. And that healing anointing will not go waste. Amen. The Lord is here doing his thing. Mommy, can you stand here? It's ushers, you will take testimonies. You will take a testimony because we must take testimony. Go ahead, Mommy. What happened? So you had di type 2 diabetes and you usually get rings in your ear. When your sugar goes up, you feel rings. You don't feel it right now. Come on, celebrate Jesus for our mother. We seal your healing in the name of Jesus Christ. What happened to you, Alexis? Jesus, we curse every swelling, we seal your healing in the name of Jesus. Natasha, what happened? Wow, come on, celebrate Jesus. We celebrate Jesus. Father, we seal this healing in the name of Jesus, those that are home. May the Lord seal your healing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want us to stretch forth our hands towards our mother. We are praying that the Lord will continue to strengthen her. Pray that the Lord will replenish her. Pray that the Lord will refill her. That any virtue that has come out of her, may Jehovah replenish. May he restore. May he renew. May he rejuvenate, rejuvenate her right now in the name of jesus i want you to lift up your voice begin to pray in the mighty name of jesus open your mouth and pray come on open your mouth and pray lift up your voice and pray for her Father, restore, renew, 
restore replenish replenish your woman servant in the name of Jesus strengthen her strengthen her strengthen her strengthen her strengthen her renew her strength renew her strength in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus May you, O Lord, our God, renew the strength of your daughter, replenish her, refill her. We ask for more grace. We ask for endurance. We ask for grace. We ask for capacity. We ask that you will continue to open her eyes and open her ears. Sensitize her sensitivity and use her to be a blessing to this generation. We thank you for her life. We thank you for using her. Pray that you will continue to protect her and cover her and everything that concerns her. In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Somebody say amen. 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 Is there anyone here that wants to give their life to Jesus? Okay. You have a testimony? Okay. Talk a little bit last. When he told us, when he told us the church that he was attending, I said, I said, I said I Come on, celebrate Jesus. Oh, I say, celebrate the one that heals her. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. celebrate Jesus we seal your healing in Jesus name thank you Lord for healing her celebrate Jesus he said he said he is the one that heals all your diseases somebody say all say he heals all my diseases you gotta believe in that word say he heals all my diseases him that's what I say be very sensitive and always look up to him he's the one that heals the Lord so wherever you are healing is coming to you no, 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 no. I say healing is coming to you whatever diagnosis high blood pressure diabetes sometimes the doctors makes it looks like it can never be healed cancer he raises the dead I say he raises their dead. Cancer is nothing for him. He heals all. He heals every disease. Today you are leaving here. Today this this that word is for somebody you are watching. Are young and fresh somebody is receiving healing right now right now he's he's he, he's coming to you now he's healing your disease he's healing 
your disease. He's healing it. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Now we gotta leave here. Amen. I want to turn this to a healing service. But tomorrow morning we are here for another wedding. Is it morning or afternoon? Morning. So make sure if you are, make sure you come and support. It's our brother Sam and our sister Raquel's wedding. Amen. Let us come and show support. Amen. So I'm personally inviting you all to their wedding ceremony here in the church. That one is my invitation. And so I'm the one inviting you. So don't disappoint me. Amen. The reception is the other the invitation. But the church is my invitation. And so let's come and support him, them. Amen. And let's come and celebrate what God is doing. And as you celebrate them, the Lord will do yours for you as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Today is many weddings. They did the engagement uh, traditional wedding today and then another brother brother Nanayal also did his traditional and his blessing today so I just came from blessing them as well amen that's why I was late and so God is blessing us with weddings 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 back to back weddings amen 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 and so yours is next in Jesus name let me release you Please, I want to encourage you to read again to the word. And start loving Bible studies. Come to Bible studies. Because if I look how many people are standing here and how many people come to Bible studies, it shocks me. And if you have a church who don't love Bible, uh, don't love the word, you are in trouble. Growth come by studies. Growth come by coming to Bible studies. Amen. Amen. If you don't listen now, you will listen later. But it'll be too late then. So if I were you, I'll be here all the time. Like our sister Tracy. She's always here in Bible study. <laughs> Amen. You know Tracy will be sitting in front answering questions. Amen. May you be rem- may you be remembered like this. Amen. Amen. Because this past Wednesday, we learned how to pray. Because you pray, but you don't really know how to pray. And that's why you don't pray. (laughs) You don't have no prayer life. May the Lord help us. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you for every seed on this altar. We thank you for your woman servant. We thank you for allowing her to be a blessing to us we thank you for every prayer that we've offered to you you are a good God you are a loving father you hear your, the prayers of your children and tonight we thank you for hearing our prayers and for answering our prayers we thank you for the deliverances we honor you we thank you for the healings we thank you for all that you are doing in this house oh Lord we love you We glorify you. May your kingdom come. May your will be done. In every one of our lives, even as we are leaving this place, may your presence go with us. In the name of Jesus, we cancel every accident. We cancel every tragedy. We cancel every sickness, every disease, every attack of the enemy. Now we command the release of those of our sisters and our brothers and our mothers and our fathers who are in the hospital. We command the release in the name of Jesus. Let them be discharged in Jesus' name. Any attack on anyone who is connected to this house, any attack on anyone who comes to even visit this house, 
today by the authority in Jesus name we cancel that attack I say we cancel every attack of the enemy concerning anyone in this house and anyone connected both here or online we declare that as we've entered the last quarter of the year we will not hear any bad news uh, we cancel bad news we cancel bad news we cancel every bad news in the name of jesus christ thank you lord for you that have kept us all these years you are faithful to keep us we commit ourselves into your hands commit our children commit our lives and our families into your hands in Jesus name we are praying thank you Lord and now may the Lord bless you may the Lord keep you may the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious unto you may he lift up his countenance upon you and grant you peace in Jesus name amen somebody say amen Say amen. 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 Now, oh, they didn't do only altar call. Do you want to accept anyone here that wants to accept Jesus? I, we don't mind waiting for you. There's no rush before we share the grace. I want to pray for you if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Somebody invited you. You felt led. You know, you standing there. You feel like giving your life to Jesus. You know, something is telling you, come, come, come. I want you to come. I want to pray with you. Any one of you. You feel in the, the pricking of the Holy Spirit. Don't disobey him. That is the Spirit of God speaking to you. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Give a clap offering to yourselves. All of you are saved. Now, let's share the grace of God together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow for the wedding. God bless you.